Hey, hey, it's Tuesday, the 18th of April, 2017. And today's word is craving. You ever heard that? The old, the old pregnant women, uh, that's an oxymoron, isn't it? The old, the old pregnant woman. <laughs> In the Bible it happened. But, so, a craving, it, it's a desire. It's, it's I want to have this, this uh, pickles and mustard. I want to have, uh, you know, whatever it is that, that the craving is. What, what is the craving about? And, and why do we have these cravings? And how do we, how do we control ourselves? And that's kind of a funny thing to say too. Control ourselves. Like we're going to control ourselves. It's just by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not about us controlling ourselves. It's not about, I'm going to, I remember when I was in school years ago, they would always talk about, uh, you know, pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps. Like, who's wearing boots and straps on them anymore? All right, I sure we can get around this big truck. Big giant truck just got next to me here with a big uh, guillotine backside. And I'm, I'm not real interested in if I can avoid, you know, being near that truck. I'd sure like to. All right, I'm just going to stay way, way back. <laughs> back. Keep pushing back, pushing back, way back. All right, well... We um, we have craving. We have things that we want, uh, desires. Uh, we have interest. We have uh, wants. I want something. That's different than a need. And God knows the difference between a want and a need. The Lord knows the difference between a want and a need. A want is, golly gee, I sure want to, uh, you know, have a cherry on top of my ice cream, but. The fact of the matter is, is that we don't need to have ice cream or the cherry. <laughs> you know, we have a, we have some bread and a little oil or butter. Uh, you know, we're we're good. We're good. We don't, you know, we don't need. We have fresh water. Uh, you know, we have a we have a little mat to sleep on with a little little hay. I mean, we're blessed. There's many many people in the world who have less than that, and uh, so. Friend, today I, I want to talk to you and just let, let's just take a look at that. How do we how do we handle? How do we manage? How do we navigate through the humanness of being a human? Uh, my sunglasses here they are. Ma, uh, turned into Ray Charles here. So, um, how do we navigate through that? Well, the Bible, God's Word, is our source. Uh, God's Word is our source. God's Word is our source. It is the Bible, what does the Bible say we need? What does the Bible say we, that we should do with these desires? Uh, the flesh and all its desires need to be put down and, and shut out. And we need to go for the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Uh, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness self-control against these things there is no law so we uh we as this family you know we're all family we need to encourage each other with the reality of what is really needed a lot of things are wanted but what's really needed i could say gee i'd like to have a big panel van I'd love to have a big panel van. I want a, a big van. I'd like to have a bus. I want to have a tour bus. I could, I could just, we could all live in the bus and I'd have all my tools down below and we could travel around from place to place. And I may like that. I may think that'd be awesome, but do I need that? No, I got my Volvo V70 and uh, it's, it's rolling along and it has brakes and she has power and, and uh, you know, has a new, new uh, axle in the front and uh, I'm okay. That looked the most pretty car in the world, but it, it does the job. It's doing the job. It's rolling me down the highway. I got all my stuff in the back. So I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm going to get up to Glendale. I'm going to put a hose reel on. Here we go. Let's see. I want to see the hose reel. I'd like to see the hose reel. Uh, if I can dislocate it here. I might dislocate my arm trying to dislocate. Let's see here. No, that's not it. 
I thought I had it right here handy. Alrighty, well, if I can't find it, that's okay. It's got to be somewhere. Alrighty. <laughs> See, I'm having a craving to, to find this hose reel, but I'm not finding it. It's there somewhere. <laughs> uh, kind of an itch you can't scratch, you know, that sort of thing. But guess what? If you don't itch, eventually the scratch will go away. The itch will go away. How many of us say, well, I'm going to be happy when I graduate from elementary school. That'll be the trick. I'm going to graduate. That's, I just got to graduate. Then we get to junior high school and I'll be happy when I, you know, I'll be happy when I, and I'll be, when I'm married and when I have kids and when the kids are out of the house and when they, you're always searching. How many people have been married? Uh, you know, they keep going like a merry-go-round uh, from partner to partner to partner to partner to partner. They just keep trading in for a better partner somehow. And, um, and I have to admit that, you know, it's it's really insane how, um, you know, in California at least, it's a no-fault state. So uh, women can just leave at the drop of a hat, you know. I, I just think it's time. I just kind of, I, I want to be happy. That's really the current thinking, is that I want to be happy. I deserve to be happy. And you're not making me happy, so I'm going to go. That's not God's design. God has a husband and a wife. God does not care about our happiness. What, Mr. Bomb? He didn't care about our happiness? Didn't you just say that joy? Well, yeah, joy. Joy is a different thing than happiness. Joy is a deep-seated presence of God's presence in our life. And uh, I told you, uh, I had to run through the gauntlet coming back from uh, Encinitas, uh, not Encinitas, from uh, down in Mexico. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. I'm, and so I sat there in the second gauntlet, you know, waiting, and yes, it was a little nerve-wracking. Yes, it was a little bit like, gee, I wonder what's going to happen. I was a little curious, you know. He popped the hood, and he went in the back, and he walked around a few times, and he checked my credentials, and he said, okay, you're all set. Have a good trip. That was it. That was all it was. There was no, you know, search. There was no on the ground and, you know, let me smash your face into the, into the concrete. No. Just a simple double check, you know, just going to double check here, pal, that's all. Um, so, we're doing the old snake here because we got somebody up here who's apparently not doing so good. <laughs> got a big tundra up ahead of me. Want to see the tundra? Here we go, here's the tundra. I'm not talking about the Arctic either. See that tundra up there? There's the tundra. There it is, yeah, big tundra. So that looks like would be really a cool vehicle to have. Have a big Toyota Tundra, you know, and be up off the ground so high and have a big paved back and have that thing you can click in and have a big trailer on there. And Wouldn't that be fun? I have a craving for a Tundra. But do I need a Tundra? No, I don't need a Tundra. I mean, sure it would be nice, but you don't need it. You don't need a Tundra. Uh, if the Lord wants me to have a Tundra, then I'll have a Tundra. Right now, I've been sticking with the Volvo, uh, Volvos for years and years and years, and they've been serving me just fine. And um, I burn through them like, uh, you know, like the guy at the dishwasher machine goes through paper towels. It's, it's, I go through them. I, I've lost track of all the Volvos I've had. I used to be able to know, well, I had a Volvo. It was a, no, no more. I don't I just... I, I, I don't have no idea how many Volvos I've had. I would say about 10 of them. I'd have about 10 Volvos, maybe, something like that. And uh, I use them until they drop, and then I get another one. I don't put any money into the car. I don't fix anything. If something goes loose, I get some duct tape, and I get her done, get her done. You know, I, I write on my dash, I write ever. I have all kinds of numbers written down. Uh, you know, my, my, the first one that went up was I had a number up here. What, what does this have to do with craving? See, I'm having a craving to talk here. So i got to stop that. and Be into control, Bob. Self-control, self-control.
Well, I sat at the border at the second checkpoint and just sat. And I just sat. And the kids were amazingly awesome. All the family just was really awesome. You know, we had... <coughs> We had seniors in the front and juniors in the back and everybody was there and it was really a nice little, it was just a nice little break and then we went after that and went to McDonald's, we had a nice little meal and our cravings, our impulses, our desires, we need to keep all those things in check, that's for sure. We cannot just let things just go berserk, we cannot just let things just go well, you know, I just feel like it. I just got this feeling. I just kind of be like the little kid who says, I just, I, it was a SNL skit. I'll play it for you sometime. It's called Hot Plate. You probably look it up on the, on the uh, YouTube. Uh, SNL, the Hot Plate skit. And uh, they had this, <laughs> they had this, this uh, little skit where they were, they had the table already preset, you know, with little elevators up and down, and they had flamethrowers involved, and, and and they had the the lady, your hand would come out, and, ah, it was so hot, the hot hot plate, hot hot. <laughs> Uh, you gotta check that skit out. That's a really, really funny skit. I'm sure it's on YouTube at this point. So there are there are things that we want to do that are definitely gonna toast our biscuits. There are definitely things that they're gonna do that we want to do <coughs> that will absolutely hurt us. I mean, they'll just they will just you know it's like the little kid who wants to touch the soup. I just I just gotta touch it, and they get scarred and burned and I just gotta move the pot and they and then they get covered with scalding water I mean now we've got into the horror story but how many lives are ruined by alcohol well I just gotta have my beer you know I don't tell me I can't drink I'm gonna drink I gotta drink my grandpappy drank and and my grammy and bammy drank drank and my brother drank and my sister drank where is everybody they're all dead I gotta drink it's like that kind of logic. It's like, really? What? You, know, you don't really have to drink, pal. You know, you just you just have this feeling that you think is craving to drink. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, um, but you don't have to drink. Nobody has to drink. Drinking is not a requirement for living. Uh, living can happen just fine without alcohol. Uh, well, Jesus had wine. Well, yeah, that's fine. You know, look. So Jesus had wine. So now I've got to drink every Budweiser and every Grey Goose and every... How did you know about Grey Goose? I heard all this commercial on yesterday, so that's why I just threw it in there. I just had short-term memory of the Grey Goose, you know. But, no, I we used to have, we had our potlucks. I had a group from uh, Europe who would come over, and they would stay until I kicked them out. I mean, literally, it was 2 a.m. I well, guys, they're going to give you tickets now on the street if you're staying any longer, because, you know, in Pasadena, there's no, there's no uh, overnight parking. So <laughs> I would finally get them again. But they had all been, you know, and then some of them would just stay with me in the, in the main uh, bunkhouse there. And uh, well, we're out of time, guys. i got to run. But this idea about cravings, it's very interesting. By the way, if you don't know what you're doing, you're watching Bob's Daily Devo on YouTube, and I'm Bob, and you can call me at 213-713-8954 or 8954 green net On the Twitter at Mr. Bob at Bob Bob 8954 And if you just accepted Jesus Christ, your Savior today, you, you know what? I'm just taking over my cravings. I'm a slave to my cravings. i got to get rid of these cravings. I need help. I want God. Then praise the Lord. We rejoice with you. We celebrate with you. Once you get to a Bible-believing church, start talking to other people about Jesus. And if you want to come to the barbecue uh, potluck, let me know. Say, hey, Bob, I, I, I have my schedule's free on this day. And then we'll schedule the barbecue potluck around your schedule. All right? God bless you. Have a great day. This is Mr. Bob, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Lord bless.